On Instagram, Chris Weidman posted a video where he takes his first steps since his leg injury from UFC 261. Yeah, give me like 25 seconds. Of that. I will say it's like it's really good to walk, but I, my leg is not. You'll get there soon. He said max 12 minutes. According to Brett Okamoto, Holloway and Rodriguez will headline the July 17th card. The event will likely take place at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh boy, here we go. Five round main event, July 17th. Max Holloway. Blessed MMA vs. Yair Rodriguez at Pantera UFC. Per Dana White, the self-proclaimed best boxer in MMA return. Max Holloway returned to the win column after his dominant decision win over Kelvin Cater on Fight Island in January. Yair Rodriguez hasn't fought since October 2019 when he beat Jeremy Stevens by decision. Prior to that, his fight with Stevens ended with an accidental eye poke. Who do you think wins this matchup? Yair Rodriguez or Max Holloway? Leave your comment below. Paige Van Zant meets Rachel Ostovich at BKFC's July 23rd event in a rematch from their January 2019 MMA bout that Van Zant won via a first round armbar submission at UFC Fight Night 143. Who do you have winning this time around? Let us know in the comments section. Speaking to SiriusXM, Matt Serra recalls his initial confrontation with Joshua Fabia and speaks on Fabia's critiques of Diego Sanchez in the wake of their split. That's enjoyable, dude. I mean, so I mean, so what happened then? And then to have this guy come up to your tables. I mean, it's like, oh my. Once we, re we, Dean didn't realize either until he started talking. We thought he worked with the UFC or something. Yeah, then no one knew who he was. Dude, once he started talking, probably around the same time, we're like, oh, with this is that idiot. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. I'm trying just to be like, yada, yada, get And that dude, he, he was, he was planted there. That guy was not leaving anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I had to be kind of rude with him, Dean. Right. Remember, even when it ended, what people seen when I said you're not my type of guy, he didn't yeah. leave right there. <laughs> he didn't even leave. He goes, but and I'm like, and one more thing, I'm like, there's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> and then he got like a little because he went to go put his hand out. I go, no, no, it's okay. I'll shake your hand, but basically, that's it, you know. But <laughs> you had to do that because <laughs> that mother who could just he did not. He, as long as he has any kind of platform to talk. He's just not going to stop, man. And that was, he was on a mission to kind of get me. I don't know. Well, now we know more because we've seen the videos that came out with with him and what he did at with, with, and that fighter, uh, get the fighter meeting with with uh, Megan Levy and, and, yeah. Uh, and, and all that. And yeah, so we've seen more. And that happened the same time as this happened with myself and Dean Thomas. So mm -hmm. listen, man, hopefully that guy soon is going to be nothing but a disturbing memory.
Schaefer is a boxing promoter who is the former CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, which he left in 2014. 2016, he started his own boxing promotion called Ringstar Sports. Check out the full statement that Jones shared on his social media announcing the Schaefer hire. I have retained Richard Schaefer as my advisor. Richard has been in the combat space for over 20 years and has put together some of the biggest global pay-per-view events over that period. The likes of Mayweather, De La Hoya, Canelo, Hopkins, Barrera, and Marquez have headlined the exciting events that Richard has promoted and produced. His knowledge and experience of the pay-per-view industry and combat sports are second to none. I'm excited to embark on this next chapter of my career as I continue to cement my place in history as one of the greats with Richard as my advisor. I can't wait to give my fans and the sport the fights they want to see. Here's what Schaefer has to say about working with Jones. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to work with such an amazing athlete and person like John Jones. John is the gold standard of UFC and one of the greatest athletes to ever dominate his or her respective sport. As he has proven time and time again, there is no challenge too great or opponent too difficult. His journey from being the youngest UFC champion in history to becoming the undisputed and undefeated GOAT has entertained and awed fans for many years. His incredible skills and unbelievable fight IQ make him the most dangerous man on the planet. I'm looking forward to sitting down with Dana White and his team on behalf of John to put together the fight the fans want to see. After the news, White seemed to like the idea of working with the former Golden Boy CEO as it is someone he respects. Dana White on John Jones retaining Richard Schaefer. I like Richard. I've known Richard for a long time and obviously he built Golden Boy. He built that company. He knows what he's doing. He's a smart guy. I like and respect him. And if we can get something done, we will. The longer this fight goes, the more I I, I think it favours Leon. And a lot of people would think that's the other way around because it's Nate that likes to wear on people. But the reality is there's, there's a point now in Nate's career where he has to think about the wear and tear on himself. You know, he can't be in there for too long taking too many shots against uh, Leon because, you know, it, it'll, be, it'll be a mess and the fight will be stopped. So he's got to be smart about how he works against Leon. Um, he's got to be closing distance and doing it as safely as possible. And that's the challenge with Leon because he's a very mature fighter. He's very methodical. He's never in any rush and his patience will be a strength in this fight for him. Obviously a bit of a rough one in his last outing with Bilal Mohammed. It was unfortunate, but it, I'm glad he's got this fight turned around because, you know, Nate Diaz, although he's he maybe not ranked as highly as some of these other guys, his star power brings a lot to the table. And, uh, you know, that's what Edwards needs right now to get that title shot, in my opinion. Speaking to TSN, Anderson Silva discusses his upcoming boxing match against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Check out what he said. You know, I just try to enjoy every single uh, uh, challenge I have in my life, you know? And uh, I love boxing. It's a very traditional sport. It's old sport. And um, I'm so happy, you know, because uh, that's the great opportunity for I'm continue to test myself and put in my, my mind to learn more and more, you know? So tell me about uh, why Julio Cesar Chavez was uh, an interesting opponent for you, well, ju Junior, of course. Well, this is uh, uh, come to me. Uh, I'm in Brazil uh, to vacation with my family, and the people call me and say, "Oh, I have a fight to you. You interesting uh, boxing with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Junior in Mexico? What do you think?" I say, yeah, I think it's good. I'm, I'm ready for that. Let's go. You know, I I like the challenge. I like to learn the different uh, disciplines. And I think boxing is a great leave in a good moment right now. And uh, I'm working hard for 
make good show for everybody, you know, for my fans in Brazil, for my fans in Mexico, for my fans in the world. Do you think Anderson Silva can win against Julio Chavez Jr.? Let us know in the comments section.